Several years ago, I signed up for a Bible study at a church by my house. It's called South Mountain Community Church, and this is a picture of all of us in the Bible study. I want to tell you the story about the cute woman at the bottom with the chevron orange shirt. Her name's Myrna. You would love her if you met her. Um, when this picture was taken, I was the only Mormon in my whole Bible study, so all the other ladies attended the South Mountain Community Church, and um, this cute Myrna um, was, had a two-year-old and a one-year-old, and we always were hearing the stories about her kids, and then she came to Bible study one day to tell us that she was unexpectedly expecting twins. So two months ago, Myrna had her twins, so now she has a two-year-old, still two years old, a one-year-old, and twins. So everyone in the whole household is in diapers. Nobody can speak a full sentence, and nobody sleeps through the night. And um, we went to Bible study a couple weeks after the twins had been born, and our cute Bible study leader was telling us about Myrna and how she's not ever sleeping. And, of course, as women, we were like, what can we do? What can we do? And the ladies were just like we are in Relief Society. They were like, can we bring in Mills? And, and we were asking, can people go and sit there? And, and how can we help? Can we do grocery shopping? And it was so cute if you were me in that moment because the Bible study leader looked at all of the women and said this, we have been in contact with the Relief Society president in her ward. And this is what they're doing from their church and this is how our church can help. And I loved the thought of that, of those women from different faith communities coming together, assuming the best about each other, looking for what was similar and figuring out how they could help bless the life of another woman. It reminds me of a scripture in Luke 14 that says, friend, go up higher, then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit at meet with thee. Sometimes our friends of another faith can help us go up higher in our own worship. And those are, are such a privilege, those moments. I love